Hi Pisces, welcome to another reading by the Blessing Foundry Tarot. This reading is going to be a love reading to look at your current situation in love and what can help you in love right now and what's coming. Guides, guardians, angels, ancestors, 5D light and above, please come here. Please show Pisces what they need to know and love around the current situation and guidance and advice and what's coming for them. Please be very clear and direct for Pisces. All right, here we go, Pisces. Spirit, what's Pisces' current love situation? And we have the Ten of Cups. This is complete emotional fulfillment. This is having everything you've wanted and, you know, the family, the warm heart, you know, all your cups, right? It's a, the end of a cycle of working to have that emotional fulfillment. What does Pisces' heart need right now? Pisces' heart... Your heart needs to, you know, deal with the feelings of being lonely or out in the cold or having some sense of abandonment. Now, we do have the Ten of Cups, so perhaps, you know, if you're not in the Ten of Cups now, perhaps that's what you're longing for is the Ten of Cups. And then we see, you know, your heart needs to um, heal from this Five of Pentacles, this position of lack and, and longing for love. And spirit, how can Pisces give their heart what they need? It needs right now, and we get the Queen of Cups. So th you know, this is Pisces. This is that emotional fulfillment. You know, caring and being cared for, focusing on your emotional stability. And the Queen is also very nurturing, insightful, psychic. She's very attuned to the psychic abilities so what this is telling me is listen to your intuition regarding your emotional needs and you know what's best for you in the area of love what who has a message of love for pisces today and we have the five of wands so the wands are fire energy and the five is an instability so this tells me it could possibly a fire be a fire sign or somebody with fire in their chart but it doesn't have to be um, and it's somebody with whom you've probably or possibly had a conflict with. So perhaps somebody um, in a love relationship who you have been having difficulty with has a message for you. And what is the message this person has for Pisces? That, you know, they want to have generosity. They want to have that give and take and that kindness. You know, that, you know, perhaps where they weren't, as generous before perhaps they're feeling as though they want to be generous again or perhaps they would like you to be more generous and what is coming for Pisces in love and we have the three of cups so this is you know a card of celebration and joy and it can even be a card of engagement you know and in we see here in the six of Pentacles for some of you and this is not all of you but some of you you know maybe this could even be an offer that might be engagement but I think that might only be like literally one or two of you. But but here, you know, we see the joy and the happiness. So, you know, even if, you know, Pisces, even if your current situation is longing for this Ten of Cups happiness and you're, you know, stuck in or dealing with the Five of Cups feelings of loneliness, lack of love or abandonment, you know, focusing your intuition and your skills and abilities on, you know, healing yourself and using your intuition to see how you can improve, you know, your love life. And then, you know, we cut spirit saying that you do in fact have the opportunity for joy and happiness and celebration in your life around love. Spirit, one card of guidance and support, or no, one card for the overall message of this reading, please spirit. One card for the overall message of love for re Pisces in this reading, please. One card for the overall message of this reading, please. One card for the overall message of this love reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. What's the overall message of love for Pisces right now? What's the overall message of love for Pisces right now, please, Spirit? What's the overall message of this love reading for Pisces, please, Spirit? What's the overall message of love for Pisces for this love reading? So overall message of love for Pisces. Oh, this is not coming. Hold on. Let me knock on them. Spirit, what's the overall message of love for Pisces for this love reading? What's the overall message of love here? 
we get prosperity begins. Now this card keeps coming up for you Pisces, you know, in several different readings now prosperity begins has been coming. So you know, I'm telling you Pisces that something so good and beautiful, something that, you know, is, is worth celebrating, worth having joy is coming. And I didn't see this at first, but on the bottom of the deck from the main cards, we have the Knight of Cups, which is, you know, a romantic gesture or offer or a romantic or emotional change coming towards you. Actually, we're going to take that. We'll put it right here. Let's see. Let's get a love oracle. Spirit, please give Pisces a love oracle. What do you want them to know? Please provide them some guidance and advice around love. What will help them in love right now? This one card that will help Pisces in love. She's knocking that five of pentacles right out of there saying, get the heck out of here. We don't want none of that, right? Helping others is helping yourself for the whole law can be summed up in this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. And Pisces, that goes to the six of pentacles. This is a card of giving and receiving. So, you know, if, if you want love, it also means you have to give love. And Spirit, let's clarify some of these cards for Pisces. What is this Five of Pentacles? Oops, wow, that came out really quick. So, you know, to clarify the Five of Pentacles, which means is a sense of loneliness, abandonment, lack, and loss, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So I think what Spirit's trying to say here is for those folks who, for those Pisces who are single, perhaps they're, because the Nine of Pentacles is a card of, of a single person or being alone, um, but also having, you know, you're just one pentacle away from having the 10 of pentacles, which is complete phys, um, material fulfillment. But here, you know, we have lack and clarified by the nine of pentacles, which is telling me that Pisces, while you are longing for this 10 of cups or perhaps have it, there still are these feelings of, you know, sadness, and that's caused by either feeling single or being single. You know, it seems as though Pisces that you really want a partner, you know, a romantic interest or somebody to share your life with. Please clarify this Five of Wands for Pisces. What is this Five of Wands for Pisces, please? What is this Five of Wands for Pisces? And we get the Two of Pentacles. So what this is telling me is, you know, the Five of Wands is a card of conflict and strife and difficulty. And we get the Two of Pentacles to clarify that. So this tells me that there have indeed been some arguments or disagreements or some going back and forth that has been less than pleasant for you, Pisces. And what is the Six of Pentacles, please, Spirit? What? And we get the Three of Pentacles. So... You know, this might be a situation where one of the per people involved in the love situation um, was giving to more than just two, like them and the you or whomever, you know, how your situation fits. You know, and maybe, you know, they were given to a third party. Conversely, this could also be, you know, wanting to share and wanting to come together to really work with you, Pisces. You know, maybe somebody wants to come together and work with you, you know, and, and have that generosity and that kindness and caring. What is this Three of Cups, please, Spirit? Please clarify this Three of Cups for Pisces. What is this Three of Cups for Pisces? Please clarify the Three of Cups for Pisces. What do you want them to know about this? And we get the Five of Swords to clarify the Three of Cups. So if your situation is one where there was a third party, and again, I think we have two different stories going on here, but if it was, then we have the five of swords where it ended up being a battle that nobody won. You know, if somebody went off to be with somebody else or fooled around or was dishonest, you know, maybe involved another person, it it did not end well for them. They're not exactly happy. Like they're their efforts outside of the relationship or outside of the involvement ended up in a very negative place for them. So, you know, Pisces, if you've been wondering, oh, you know, my person ran off and did this or did that, 
you know, and it's like, oh, they're probably happy. They're actually very sad. They're, you know, it, it messed them up a little bit. So, but then also on the other storyline that we have here of somebody wanting to come together with you Pisces and have that given that equal give and take and, you know, coming together as a team and working with you. We have the three of cups again, which could be joy and celebration. But I read this then as a block, like there might be some factors that are preventing the joy from coming through as desired. And what is this Knight of Cups? What is this potential offer or Knight of Cups? What do you want us Pisces to know about the Knight of Cups, please? Please clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces. Please clarify the Knight of Cups for Pisces, Spirit. What is this Knight of Cups for Pisces? What is the Knight of Cups for Pisces, please, Spirit? These cards are so wee. What is the Knight of Cups for Pisces? Oh, I missed a few cards, but we'll take them. All right. So we have the Six of Wands. So we see, you know, the Knight of Cups is an offer or a romantic gesture. And then we have the Six of Wands, which is me being able to move forward victoriously, being a victor. You know, perhaps if somebody makes an offer or a romantic proposal, that offer will be taken. And then we have the Six of Pentacles again. So making an offer um, of generosity and kindness, and then we get the moon. So in this offer, you know, Pisces, perhaps you need to go in and use your intuition and, and see what isn't on the surface to really look at the situation, to understand it better, and to make that choice, you know, to really look at what's going on, not on the surface, but also behind the scenes, you know. If, if a person's trying to be generous, you know, I'm not saying doubt everything they say or do, but, you know, really evaluate what's in your best interest and how the decision you make will impact you and how it will impact your destiny, right? Because people that come in our lives and become part of our story do, in fact, um, impact the road we walk. You know, it might be for a short while or it might be for a longer while, but it definitely does um, impact our lives, sometimes for good and sometimes not so good. And one more card to clarify, close out this reading for Pisces, please, Spirit. One card, one message that will help them, please, Spirit. One message that will help Pisces in, in love right now. One card to help Pisces in love right now. All right, and heaven belongs to us because we are the children of heaven. So let's see. The voice in our head doesn't belong to us. We aren't born with that voice. Thinking comes after we learn first a language, then all of the judgments and lies. The voice of knowledge comes as we accumulate knowledge. And what this is telling me, Pisces, is perhaps, you know, we've experience unfortunate events in love and had the disappointments and the hurts and pain and maybe right now you might be feeling guarded or reluctant or hesitant to love again or to trust even again and you know spirit is saying here that our natural state is to love you know and here we have love your neighbor as yourself so our natural state before we experience the world and before we, you know, have darkness come and, and um, darken our eyes on and our perspective, our natural state is in fact to, to love and to be pure in heart. And as we go through our experiences and maybe, you know, we're in love relationships where people are unkind and say negative things to you or you know, diminish you, or even maybe if you say that to yourself, you know, I mean, me personally, I've had people say, oh, nobody will ever love you, or nobody wants you, or things like that, and, you know, if I allowed that to, I mean, it did bother me at the time, but if I allowed it to occupy space in my heart, I would not have room to love, so I've learned to heal those wounds, because really, they're wounds, right, I've learned to heal them, and let them go because those, I do not take ownership over harsh words and, and mean things that people say. Those are not yours to own. You know, yes, they hurt, 
but you also have the choice to let go of what does not serve you. And that's exactly what spirit is saying here. The voice of knowledge comes as we accumulate knowledge. So what are you accepting, Pisces? What are you accepting for truth in your life, right? I don't know. You're you're so lovable, Pisces, and, and I hope, you know, if your heart is hurt or, or, you know, not feeling as good, it'll heal up and, you know, you'll be able to open your heart to love. That's what I have for you right now, Pisces. God bless.